Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Factorio. My name, of course, is Obed Potato. The uh, the volume is a bit loud, so let's just turn that down a notch, shall we? There we go. Hopefully that should be fine. Um, okay, so I just want to say thank you to everybody who got in contact with me through Facebook, through YouTube. And yeah, it was fantastic. It was really, really good. And they said, effectively, what you need to do, Obed Potato, is you need to stop being an idiot. And you need to research this, because apparently this, salt water electrolysis, is really, really important, so you need to get right on that. And, uh, and I absolutely will get right on that, because you know what? It's going to take us about 10 seconds to uh, to research this, this whole shebang, so that shouldn't be a problem. Are we running out of power? We are running out of power. Oh, goodness me, that is not good. Okay, so we've got that. That's good. So now, fingers crossed, we should be able to make salt water, I think. I think that's the idea. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, I sort of I'm, I'm not entirely sure about what we're going to do about this power situation. I'm afraid it's uh, it's quite quite dangerous, potentially catastrophic. Um, I think the first priority has to be getting the power situation sorted because you know, quite frankly, we can't we can't go on with uh, with less than adequate power. So let us make some primary steam engines. There we go. That should be one, two, three, four, f five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, get rid of one of those. And then we're going to need a butt ton of boilers. And this, of course, is going to take fucking ages. Absolutely fucking ages. Because we need we need just an absolute shit ton of stone. Like, there's no other way to say it. You just need a shit ton. That's just the way it, that's just the way it is. You need a shit ton of stone to actually make this viable. So, oh my goodness, we'll be crafting boilers for the next uh, three centuries or so. I'm not too worried. It's not going to take us that long. Uh, we're also going to need a little bit of belt just to just to sort us out. Uh, what else are we going to need? Lots of basic inserters. We've got a lot of basic inserters. That's fantastic. Going to need a couple of long-arm inserters. We've got a couple of long-arm inserters. That's awesome. Looks like we've got enough coal here to supply the uh, the angry beast that is the furnace or the furnace area that's uh, that's over here. I think this is going to be the, the de facto power area for now. Uh, so that's a fun little fact for you. Okay, uh, let's uh, start placing these down. If we took that up, that can go there. We don't need it to go there anyway. That's Okay, that's that's good. I'm just I'm just making sure that, uh, that everything is gravy, baby. Because we want it to be all matching up and all nice and, nice and neat and stuff. Because if it's not, then, you know, what's the point? What's the point exactly, I ask you? Okay, so that's 10 more engines that are slapped on there and ready to go. We need another 14 boilers, so hopefully I've uh, queued enough up to be made. Uh, I think I probably should have. There we go, and while we're waiting for that to get done, let us start laying down the basic inserters. I'm just going to lay them all down as basic inserters, um, and then replace the ones that need to be replaced with long-armed inserters, because, you know, I can, and it's also a heck of a lot quicker. Long-handed inserter. Thank you. You go there. There, there. That goes there. Get two of these bad boys. Booyah. And we need another two furnaces. Or two boilers, should I say. Boom and boom. And cancel the rest of this shite. Don't need it. Do not need it. Get out my life. Well, I'll make another one just in case. Uh, okay, so that's good. We've already got this liquid handler in place here, and it looks like it's got enough water already, so we don't really need to worry about uh, about setting up any more pumps or any more liquid handlers or whatnot. I think that should be enough, actually. Yeah, no, it looks like that is uh, that is a totally fine amount of water that we've got coming in here. The only thing I do worry about is coal. We might not have enough coal to supply all of these uh, all of these lanes of of uh, of steam engines. Wow, we we really we really need a lot of power to power this factory. I mean, I think honestly we would be better if we just if we just got, you know, 10 more steam engines and uh, and sorted that situation out. Uh should have enough. Yep, we should have just enough for a boiler or two, uh, for 10 boilers, should I say? Um and I'll start laying down the basic inserters as well. 
So yeah, this is going to be our power area. I have no idea why it's going to be our power area. It just seems nice. So I guess, you know what, it's going to be our power area. It seems to it seems to suit it. And, you know, there's nothing else that, that can sort of go on up here anyway. Uh, you know, we've got the train station down here uh, for the iron. So, you know, effectively this area can all be power as far as I'm concerned. You know, I am thinking on a pretty large scale. I mean, it's, it's, it's a mega factory. It's going to be mega. It's got to be mega. That's the way it is. You know, if it's not mega, then, uh, you know, I'm just a fraud. But I'm not a fraud. I wouldn't do that to you guys. It's going to be mega if it's the last thing I do. Absolutely. Okay, there we go. And some power cabling. That goes there. Let's get at the medium ones because I can't be bothered building any other types. That goes there. That goes there. And I think all that we need now is, uh, is some boilers. And some long arm inserters. That one there. And that one there. Awesome! Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, we also need some pipes to connect it up, but yeah. Details, details, details. Oh, here's the train. Unloading some iron. That's good. We were uh, we were running out of iron, actually. Are these things full? They're, no, they're not nearly full when they uh, when it's transported. We also don't have a way to uh, to fill up the train. I'll add some coal in there. But yeah, we don't have an automated way to do that yet. However, we'll eventually have one. You know, we eventually will. Eventually. I'll get around to it one day. Why not? Okay. And we pop out here. And that goes there. Beautiful. Beautiful. Perfect. However... However, we are uh, we are having a slight fuel crisis. Yeah, that's not so good. A little bit of a fuel crisis. Might need to start shipping in some uh, some coal, because ideally I would like to use coal for uh, for for furnace power and power generation just in general. Yeah. The reason that that coal is the best is the best option is because it is, you know, unlimited. We've got effectively unlimited amounts of coal, so it can just go on forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Yeah, that's right, and ever. Uh, no, but but coal is uh, is certainly an option. We could also change, uh, or we could also change. We could also turn some light oil or whatever into some solid fuel. That's also an option that we've got available to us. You know, heck, the world is our oyster. The world is our oyster. Uh, but for now, it looks like this is not quite... This this amount of coal is not quite cutting it, I'm afraid. Uh, yeah, we'll add some little extensions on here. And some more... Some more coal mining stuff going here. Okay, that there, and that there. So we should have a butt ton of coal that is uh, that is being mined currently. And you know what? I'm going to path around that pole just because I can't be bothered picking it up and putting it back down. Because, I mean, who really has time for that? Not me. Not me. Uh, so that should give us a little bit of extra coal. I'm not entirely sure if it's going to be enough to supply the hungry beast that is, uh, that is this furnace area. I'm really not sure. But we can only try. We can only try. It's going to be close. Um, it really doesn't look like it's enough. You know what? Screw it. Let's worry about that later. Let's try and sort out the situation that we've been having with uh, with salt water over here, because I have been uh, I've been really looking forward to, to trying to s resolve this situation. I mean, is there anything new in here? No, nothing new in there. Anything new in here? Oh, oh look. Salt water electrolysis, water, and salt. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We're doing it. We're doing it. We, we don't need these. I mean, it's just oxygen and hydrogen. They're pretty readily available. So, that gets us chloride. So, well, obviously, salt is sodium chloride. Oh my god. Um,. I was told. I was told exactly what it made. However, it's not telling me what it is. 
No, it's not. It's not telling me what it is. Although I suppose if I put it in a, well, can I t take this out? So that gives me sodium hydroxide. Okay, that's one part of it. And then the part that's in here is hydrogen, and the part in here is chlorine. Chlorine, of course, is a diatomic um, molecule, as is hydrogen. Okay, so that's really cool. Uh, I don't know what we do with that. I have no idea what we do with that, quite frankly. Um, but I was told that apparently you need it for advanced circuits and shite. Well, I don't think we've really unlocked advanced circuits yet, have we? I don't think we have. We might have. Electronic circuit board. Oh god. Oh god, this is all this is all becoming very, very confusing. But you know what? I will persevere. I will persevere for your benefit. Without a doubt. Uh, let's see what we can research. Chemical processing 2. Hydrogen chloride. Calcium chloride. Solid fuel from hydrogen. Yes. Give me some solid fuel from hydrogen. That would be fantastic. If we could do that, then that may just solve all of our power crises that are sort of n well not really a power crisis i mean there's only a couple of furnaces that aren't uh, that aren't chugging out power but you know i think you get the picture i think you absolutely get the picture and uh, we could quite easily resolve our problems by using this hydrogen which is readily available we don't in fact we don't even need to we don't even need to electrolyze salt water we just need to electrolyze normal water and fuck it you know we get hydrogen how awesome is that and these these resources that we've got are pretty much unlimited which is what I like about chemistry. It's awesome. It's it's really, really cool. Okay, solid fuel from hydrogen. How the hell do I make that? How the hell do I make solid fuel from hydrogen? I, I mean... Where would, where would I make that? Where would I make it? Solid fuel from hydrogen. Ah, okay. So you do that. And if I get another electrolyzer, are you telling me that it will work? I don't really know if it's going to work, though, to be honest. I don't really know. We're just going to have to wait and see. Okay, that goes there. That goes there. Booyah, booyah. Okay, that goes there. Why can't I make that? Oh, it's made in a chemical plant. Oh, okay. Let's uh, let's get the chemical plants out then, shall we? Let's uh, stack these two oil refineries together. Keep things tidy and all. Okie doke. And wow, what can we make? Calcium chloride lead oxide. That's quite cool. I like that. And we can also make sulfur. Hmm. Sulfuric acid. Ferric chloride solution. We can make sulfuric acid from sulfur clean water, iron plates, make batteries, obviously, this is the basic stuff, but yeah, you know, you get the picture, solid fuel from hydrogen, oh wow, just like that, just like that, our power problems may well be solved, because that's 25 megajoules, now, I'm not entirely sure how that's comparable to, I mean, that's 25 megajoules, I mean, all of these are 25 megajoules, so, Using the hydrogen, uh, using the hydrogen sort of setup seems to work. Holy cow! I think we might have just, we might have just, we might have actually just done something. We might have actually just made progress. Holy hell! We're gonna take these up. We don't need these. Oh god! I can't. I, so I'm in a state of shock. We, we might have just made progress, like real progress. Real, real progress, on Orbital Potatoes channel. Are you having a laugh, mate? Oh my goodness, I feel a bit dizzy. I mean, knowing that I've actually accomplished something for today. Well, I did I did not set out to do that. Goodness me. I need to I need to restrain myself. Lordy. Um water electrolysis, that's what we're going to do. Let's get a void pipe because we don't actually need it. A phantom pipe or whatever, voids fluids that's enter it. Uh we don't need the oxygen, so that can uh, go to hell. Uh we can get in fact, what we'll do is we'll put a... Collect this up. Oh, fuck. Let's pick this up. Um, yeah, that's making us stone. Okay, that's good. Um, 
What was I going to do? Yes, I was going to have a bank of three electrolyzers. Three electrolyzers here. And these can be our fuel producing guys. We're just going to have uh, a normal setup here. And we shall connect them with some pipes. Beautiful. That goes in there like that. Hopefully we've got enough water. Fingers crossed we do. Uh, we could connect this water up to that pipe action. In fact, you know what? Why are we wasting this water? Yeah, we might as well. We might as well. We've got the time. We've got the time. So let's uh, let's do it. Uh, this can go there. That can go there. No. That can go there. Uh, where's our normal pipe? Normal pipe is there. Perfect. And that can go there. Okay, good. We sorted. We all gravy, baby? We're gravy. Awesome. Uh, do we not have any more of these bad boys? Yeah, we need more of them. And that should get them all. We, of course, want to void the oxygen. We're going to need uh, three pipes. We don't actually need... Well, we've already got... We've already got a couple, actually. Yeah, we don't actually need any oxygen for anything that we do at the moment, so... Uh, now what we need to do is... Have, oh, oh god. How are we... Oh, shit. Uh, I guess we're going to have to separate these out a little bit. Just so the, the, the pipes don't collide. Yeah, I did not think of that, actually. Oh, well. It's a good point. I'm sure we'll, uh, we'll bear it in mind for the future. Okay. That goes there. Now, void pipes, please. Let's let's actually make some real progress. I know I did sort of joke about making progress, but I like making progress. Okay, normal water. In fact, how is our fuel problem up there? Oh, we got coal backed up. What the fuck are we even doing this for? Uh, you know why we're doing it? We're doing it because it's fucking awesome. That's right, we're doing it because it's fucking awesome. Okay, that out here, that out there. That little stash of salt is just going to stay there for eternity. When I say eternity... I mean for a pretty damn long time. Um, can we make a storage tank Mark II? That would actually be rather nifty. I would uh, I would like that. Let's make a storage tank Mark II. Um, in the meantime, we can sort of set up the assembly over here for what's going to happen. So we're going to have you there. You are going to make us solid fuel from hydrogen because you're awesome like that. I'm... I don't, don't know why I'm talking to the plant, the, the, the chemical plant. It's kind of weird. Um, yeah, that goes there. And let us get these pipes converging. Beautiful. And then that can go there, I guess. No, it can't go there. It needs to go... It's going to need to go through the... Uh, through the storage tank because we want to store it before actually using it. And all we need to do is power you up. And then we should be in for a right uh, a right good time. So this is again a temporary setup, but at the same time, it's kind of awesome temporary setup because it's our first experiment into the world of chemistry, which I think is pretty cool. Uh this can go all the way up here. Okie doke. There we go. Uh, I'll make another one of those. Why not? So yeah, this is our first experiment in the world of chemistry. How awesome is that? I think, personally, that's pretty damn awesome. So I'm not entirely sure how fast we're going to be gaining hydrogen. But we're gaining it at a pretty rapid pace. So it should hold roughly even, you know, give or take. It should be fine. And that's going to give us a, a lot of extra fuel that we can use. So that is indeed a nice added bonus to what has been a very productive episode so far. And uh, yeah, awesome. I, there's nothing I can complain about really, is there? There's really not. There we go. We've got our, our, our latest batch of fuel in. And, uh, and these are just going to mingle with the with the coal and that will of course last for a lot longer and we should never have power problems ever again well fingers crossed never ever again in fact you know what while we're dealing with power in this episode 
let's 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 go the whole hog let's just fucking do it right and when i say let's fucking do it let's go mental on power because we've got we've got uh, the hydrogen fuel processing so i think we can afford to add another lane of steam engines and boilers and just oh my goodness the the thought the thought makes me tingle the thought makes me tingle okay that goes there we need some more copper oh my goodness it's been a while since uh, i've needed copper okie doke that there what do we need now more stone it's always fucking stone isn't it it's always fucking stone okay good Good, 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 good. And we're probably going to need more pylons as well, unfortunately. Oh, God. I hate building pylons. Pylons are just one of those things that I would just like to be there when you need it. Lava pools. You know what? I don't really feel so bad about about uh, about building over these anymore because they're so frequent, you know? They're really, really very frequent. So I'm really not too bothered by by doing that. That, oh my fucking god. Look god awful. It's out of sync by like literally one square. Can't believe I didn't notice that sooner before I placed all of them. That's, is that out of sync again? Now that must be in sync. Yes, I don't know. It, it's starting to get a little bit trippy. Is that in sync? Like, or is that, when I say in sync, I mean, is it level? It looks level. It does, but it doesn't look level. You know what I mean? Or maybe it does. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm just seeing things. You never can tell. Maybe I've just, I've just, you know, maybe that's my brain saying, "Orbit potato, you need to get a grip. You need to get a grip. You need to stop playing Factorio." And I'm saying to it, "No, I ain't never gonna stop playing Factorio because Factorio." is a beast in game. It is an absolute smash hit, and I fucking love it. Cannot get enough of Factorio. Okay, there we go. There we go. Where are the remainder of the boilers? Here they are. Indeed they are. Boom, 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 boom. I want you in my room. Nope, that's uh, a tune by the Venga Boys. Not keen on it myself. Okay, there we go, there we go. That there and that there was a little bit of a misplacement going on, but I sorted it because I'm I'm a great guy like that. Uh, and that can go there, that can go there, and that can go there. How great is that? That is pretty darn great, if you ask me. I think that's going to wrap it up for this episode. I mean, we've we've literally almost doubled the size of our power network. How crazy is that? It's pretty crazy. I'm not sure if they're uh, I'm not sure if they're gonna pick up these these hydrogen cubes they must be picking them up yeah they are picking them up that's fine they're just taking a long time to burn down so we're starting to see a nice little backlog building up here anyway ladies and gentlemen my name of course has been Obit Potato thank you very very much very very much for watching Factorio Mega Factory and in the next episode, I'm sure we'll uh, we'll explore some more chemical stuff because I've thoroughly enjoyed it. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.